Hi everyone, good evening to all. This is in continuation of uh, videos on centrifugal compressors and today we are discussing about the various performance curves used for you know centrifugal compressors. I am hope uh, this video is going to be very interesting. So please do keep watching until then and subscribe my channel. Thank you. So let's begin the discussion. The performance curve of centrifugal compression. A main performance curve is drawn on flow versus pressure. And flow can be mass flow and discharge pressure. Normally in bar absolute or kg or any other units. However, there are types, various types of performance curves are also available which are not in use for general application but in engineering applications. So let's discuss what are the various types of performance curves used for centrifugal compression. Um, this is a curve which is shown as a mass flow rate on x axis kg per hour, y axis is discharge pressure in bar absolute. And uh, we have uh, different IGB positions. IGB1, IGB2, and IGB3 are the pre whirl condition, and IGB4 is in axial position, and IGB5 is overturn position. So it is shown uh, almost five IGB curves. And uh, just for reference purpose, and it is also indicated the operating point on IGB4, which is in axial position. This is the point of operation. This is this much flow and this much pressure rise. The main feature is at IGB fixed position, when flow decreases, discharge pressure decre increases, you see, for the fixed position, let's say this position, or you take any position, if the flow is decreasing, pressure increases, you can see here. If you come here, the flow has decreased, but pressure has increased. And reaches to point which is called the surge point. At fixed IGB position, when flow is increased, now flow is reverse increasing. This flow is increasing, but discharge pressure decreases and reaches to the point which is called the choke points. The choke point is also called the stone wall point and surge point is and what is the surge point? Is the minimum flow and maximum pressure rise. Its condition is called the surge. And what is this? This is reverse maximum flow and minimum pressure rise. So these are the main feature we can see surge point choke point or surge line. If you connect all the lines of surge line, it becomes surge line. You can connect all the points of the choke. It becomes the stone wall line or choke line. At higher IGB position, higher the flow, you can see. Take the case of this IGB and this. If you move on increasing IGB position, you will get higher flow and higher pressure as compared to the lower IGB position. A line connecting the surge point is called surge line, as I've already discussed. If you connect all the points of surge, it becomes surge line. A line connecting all the choke points is called the choke point or stone wall point line and compressor has to operate in between surge line and choke point as shown P is a point of operation. And X axis shows the flow and Y axis shows the discharge pressure. Operation of compressor outside the surge line that is this side will cause the machine to surge and lead to damage. So it is not advis advisable to operate the machine this region, surge region or even this is also not advisable. You have to run in between two lines. Now, performance curve for mass flow rate and coupling power. Let me explain you what is coupling power. Coupling power is that power consumed by compressor and it is a stage power. If it is multi-stage, you have to add you have to add the all the power of the stages of compressor plus mechanical losses, gear losses, all the losses. This becomes a coupling power. Coupling power is you can say overall power consumed by compressor in kilowatt in y axis and x axis is mass flow rate. So we have different IGB position corresponding. We have a different curve 
for power so higher the curve you will get higher flow and higher coupling power this is a case discharge the flow flow is now normal volumetric flow rate in discharge pressure same curve same uh, but only the x axis has changed it is now normal volumetric flow rate and this is another way we can you know the performance of compressor is shown one is mass flow rate another is normal volumetric flow rate one y axis is discharge pressure in bar absolute same way in form of coupling power you can show x axis is a mass flow uh, normal volumetric flow rate nmq per hour and coupling power in y axis we have different curves for a normal normal volumetric flow rate, rate and coupling power now this is another curve which is used as a inlet actual whole flow that is meter cube per hour and y axis is isentropic head joule per kg similar curve but this is not used for general purpose it is used only for engineering application this curve inlet actual flow rate versus isentropic head same curve but they, because you know a compressor is expressed in also another form that is polytropic head so same inlet actual flow meter cube per hour in x axis and y axis is a polytropic head joule per kg this is another way to represent performance of the compressor curve which is x axis is inlet flow coefficient phi and y axis is isentropic head coefficient psi which is constant this is constant and if we can draw with a different ig position but again this is used for the engineering application same way we can show inlet flow coefficient phi versus polytropic head coefficient psi p similar but different uh, you know y axis that is polytropic head coefficient again this is used for the engine applications so i hope you have enjoyed this thank you thank you for watching